Hello. The first practice on Ari needle or crochet needles. It is better to use this one, the metal one, and practice more. And then you can use the other one because it's so thin and you will find a little hard to start with at the beginning. So it's better to start with this one. You can use any size you like. First, we'll talk about the thread. There are double thread and one thread. Start with practicing on one thread, it is better. When you work on beading, tambour beading or crochet or ari needle, ari beading, the thread will come out this way. You will not hold uh, the this one, the big one. You will only hold the thread underneath the fabric and on the right hand, as for me on the right hand, the needle. The spool will be down. You can put it in your lab or a, a spool holder or anywhere you're comfortable with, but it is down. For the needle, if you can see the head of the needle, this one, this is the direction that you are going to start the beading. If you are going up, you will start this needle, the head of the needle up. If you are working and starting all right, this one is going right. If you are going left, this one left. If you are going down, the head of needle is going down. So the head, the head of needle is the direction where are you going to start the beating. The embroidery. First, I will make a knot. There are many types of knots closing the beading on the fabric. I will show you two today. At next video, I will show you more. So you make the knot, don't make it too small, make it little big so that this will not come out from the fabric. So you hold it like this, the thread. This is the knot. Again, your two fingers will hold the knot and you go back and you will hold the thread again. This is how you will catch the thread. This hand's going down. And this is up. So first, let me go from here. The direction, like I said, up. If you are going to start right, you will go right, the head of the needle. If you are going to start down, you are going down to the head of the needle. Head of the needle is the direction that you are going to start embroidery. So we are going up. So we will start the head up. Insert the needle, catch the thread go up, let go the knot thread, and you will have it, and you go down. The thread you will go uh, behind the needle, and you go up, and you stop. You go right, you go back to the same direction, you enter the needle, the thread will come out left. Behind the needle, you go up, you stop, you go right, and then the same direction you enter the needle, left behind, the thread is behind the needle, and you go up, you stop right, and you go back the same direction, you enter the needle, left. Up, stop, right, the same direction, you enter the needle, see the thread is going out left the thread is behind the needle you catch it you go up and you stop right you go back the same direction left you need to practice 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 and then your hand will get used to it down the thread do not hold it tight too much tight because the thread is going out so you need to go out you need to get it out so you don't hold it tight be easy with the needles be easy with the thread first time will be difficult and then it will be easy you need to get used to it you need to do more practice 
I prefer if you practice on the organza so that you can see what's going on the, down there because you need to hold the thread behind the needle right go back to the same direction you enter the needle left right go the, the same direction you enter the needle left down the needle behind the thread sorry behind the needle up stop right same direction go back left the thread behind the needle up stop go right and then the same direction you enter the thread left The head of the needle we are going to start go down catch the thread up the needle the thread behind the needle up and you stop right and you go back down the same direction you enter the needle the, the thread will come out go left let me zoom it behind not to the front the needle behind up stop right the same direction you enter the needle see the threads going out and then left behind and stop right the same direction you enter the needle and left up stop right the same direction you enter the needle the thread will come out and then left so right left under behind the needle and only one turn not one two be careful with that only one up you stop right go the same direction you enter the needle the thread automatic automatically will go up left right left right underneath stop right same direction you enter the needle left be careful when you work on Sometimes, th sometimes things happen or do not go so fast and be very careful because sometimes if you do some mistake or you you hold the threads too quickly see it's going down so you need to be careful with this one practice all what you need is just to practice and your hand will be so easily to work with this needle if you have uh, a break you want to take a break you want to go to do something you don't leave it like this and you, you and then you will come back to finish your work take the needle see and you enter it just like this and you can leave it that thread you will put it in any safe place down or up if you want to come back you go slowly so that you won't damage the thread or you can secure it in any way you like it but you need to be careful so that the thread will not come out down behind the needle up you stop right left right definitely what i'm saying right right it's uh, right this is right this is what i mean right it's a one step and then you go left but i am sure you knew uh exact things what you are going to do with the right so you go right and you go back to the same direction this is all this is one step i hope you understand me anything is not clear anything you don't understand Write me in the comment.
and I will answer you. Up, right, go back the same direction, left. The thread behind the needle, up, stop, right, go back the same direction, you enter the needle, left. Thread behind the needle, up, stop, right, go back the same direction, sorry. You will face like this all the time, so you need to be very careful. Behind the thread, behind the needle, stop, right, same direction, you entered the needle, left. If the video is not clear or you need some information, please write me in the comment. See? And you go right. And you go back the same direction. The thread will come out. You will go left. Right. You go back left. Behind the needle. One turn. Up. Stop. Right. Go back the same direction you enter the needle left up right go down the same direction you enter the needle left if we are going to to close it you are going to make in the front of the large stitch small stitch very small and you have to be very careful when you get it out and here you go close we are going down you need to practice you have to practice more and more so we are going down the direction of the needle the head of the needle is not going like this because we are going down so we go down we will hold the thread up and down it is better to work uh, on organza fabric or sheer fabric so that you can see what's going on down you need to practice because the direction you will it will confuse you at first down the thread behind the needle go up right go back the same direction left right go back the same direction left The thread the thread is behind the needle and you go up stop right go back the same direction the thread will come out left behind the needle up stop right the thread will come out left you need to practice 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 more and then it will be easy and you will go fast and fast if you need anything or anything not clear write me in the comment behind the, the thread behind the needle up stop right when you go back the same direction you enter the needle the thread will come out left right left work with the organza it's better so that you can you can see what's going on down because the right and left when you go <coughs> sorry up and down and right and left it will be a mess and confusing for you at the first time and then you can go easy right go back the same direction you enter the needle left right go back the same direction the thread will come out left right Go back the same direction. Sometimes you will have things like this. Take it easy. Go back. Go. Do it again. You will have. You will cut thread. You will have uh, missing things around. So it's okay. You are learning. Down the thread behind the needle. Right. Go back the same direction. The thread behind the needle. Right. Go back the same direction. And go left. Right, the thread will come out. Left. The thread behind the needle. Up, stop. 
right left behind the needle up step right go back the same direction you will get the thread left up stop right go back the same direction you will get the thread left right left right left right left right catch the thread left needle behind the thread sorry again the thread behind the needle up step right go back the same direction the thread will come out left right go back the same direction you enter the needle the thread will come out left right go back the same direction you enter the needle the thread will come out when you go down when you go behind the needle and go up it's already the thread will catch the needle so you don't do anything and then you stop you go right and back left the thread will come out and if you are going to make an arch closing small one and go back and up and stop cut pull the thread and the 